Now let's hear from former Minister of Youth and Sports, Nilante Vanderpoel. He says that he was vilified as a minister during his tenure between February 2016 and 2017. According to him, he demanded for the right things to be done, but that became, uh, made him an enemy to the sporting community. I was vilified when I was Minister of Sports because I tried to put some corrective measures in the way our national teams were being run. Because I could not just phantom how a state like Ghana will continue to spend one point something million dollars on one blaster match. How much? One point something million dollars. Every blaster match? Yes! And, 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 and <laughs> you sit down and ask yourself, because if you are paying winning bonus of almost about 10,000, and you have close about 28 players in camp, that's, that, that's 280,000. Plain fair. And the players, when they are coming, they, they sit in business class. You understand? Yeah. And the people who sometimes, instead of taking the business, you know, every play fair, there's graduation. Even if it's business class. You could sit in business class and pay $1,000. I could sit in business class and pay $600. Yeah. But they will go for the $1,000. Because somebody needs to get a cut. And so who is there to correct that? Uh -huh. So, so wait, who wait, as, soon as, as soon as you see, the, you know these things and you take these things, what you have to do is to take that difficult, unpopular decision to cut some of these things and make some people unhappy. That's the only way you can correct the system. But I'm saying that, Kweku, in this country, as soon as you try to do that, you become the public enemy. Because those people who are benefiting from the system will create that, uh, let me say, demonic for you. Oh, as for this man, you know how I was vilified? I don't like certain persons. I don't like the black stars. To the extent that black star management members will tell players that Nilanti doesn't like you, so he said we should not bring you. We should bring local players to come and play a match. When at that time we were playing against a team, 90, 100%, almost 100% of their players playing in their local league. And we think that we are Ghana, we are better than that country as far as football is concerned. And we are already qualified for the World Cup. And we need money for other sporting disciplines. Because at that time, the, the uh, Paralympics have qualified for Paralympic Games, but there was no budget. So if we're going to spend that amount of money on blasters alone, why don't we use part of that money to finance the Paralympics so that we can use our local... After all, Jones Atukofia used Accra House of Oak to play against Nigeria. When we continue to make money, motivation for players to play for our national team, and not pride, of wearing our national jersey, we will continue to have players who think that they are doing the country a service, a good a favor.